My name is Lois Ellen Frank, and I'm the chef owner of Red Mesa Cuisine in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm going to show you how to make culinary ash from juniper. We're using branches from the juniper today. Uh, I've cut branches and cut them into small pieces, which I'm putting uh, on a tray, and we're going to put that in the oven. Culinary ash is very important in Native American cuisine history. This ash goes back thousands of years, and Native people have been using this ash to add nutrients, including calcium, to the cornmeal that we use for a variety of dishes. One teaspoon of this culinary ash has the equivalent of calcium as a glass of milk. So if we look historically back in our traditions, most Native people didn't use dairy. And we didn't use dairy because we had our culinary ash. So culinary ash, very, very, very important. So I take my branches and I'm gonna put them in an oven and we're gonna let them cook. I actually have a tray of branches that have been cooking and nicely dried. And we're gonna take this outside and I'm gonna show you how to make the culinary ash. So let's go outside together and make culinary ash. that we want to do is we want to take some of these branches and we want to put them I'm using a metal wok which is safe to use and we want to just take this culinary ash light these branches so that the branches can burn and when the branches burn they start to turn white and it's this white part of the branches that we want to use for our culinary ash. So let the fire start to get with the orange flames and then we're going to actually take it, uh, I have a little fan here and I'm just gonna let those branches burn until they turn white. It's the white part of the ash that we're gonna be using for our traditional corn dish. Uh, and so we just want to make sure that that burns properly and burns all the way through. Once you have your culinary ash, I just put it in a jar and then I have enough to use. So you could actually make uh, quite a bit or you can just make what you need. We need about a teaspoon uh, for our corn mush, our corn pudding that we're going to do. And that's going to be the next episode. And I'm going to teach you how to do uh, corn mush layered together with boiled reduced berries. So take a look here at this. You can actually see that branches burning down. See that white part. That's the white part that we want to use uh, to strain for the culinary ash. So you can see those embers burning. That's exactly what we want uh, to use uh, for the culinary ash. So once everything has burned uh, all the way down, uh, you're just gonna take a strainer. And I've got just a household strainer here. I'm gonna take the ashes from the bottom of the pan the white part of those ashes, you can actually see it gathering on the bottom, and put it in a strainer. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to tap that strainer, and you can actually see the ashes coming out on this. And for this particular recipe, see all that? That's the perfect ash, what we want is we only need about a teaspoon. We're gonna have be able to make uh, more than that. So we're straining out the part that is not uh, all the way cooked or uh, not white. And take a look at this beautiful culinary ash here. This is exactly what we want. We actually have more than what we need for the recipe. We only need a teaspoon. And so we now have culinary ash and we're ready to uh, make uh, any of the corn dishes that require the culinary ash. So I just want to say thank you for joining us. And I want to say thank you to the Physicians Committee 
for Responsible Medicine and Sun Life Financial for their support uh, in the production of this video and uh, a big appreciation to them. And also Chef Walter Whitewater, who's been behind the camera. Thank you for doing a great job with the filming. We hope you'll join us for the next episode. And the next episode will show you how to make corn mush or corn pudding, we call it a corn parfait, with the boiled berries. And so thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you for the next episode.